also wearing a blue and white checkered suit. Uh, yes, very nice, very nice. You got that. Good stuff. And Sylvia was wearing all tan suit. All tan suit. We'll count it as a match. Have a nice hand for the guys. Very observant here today, I have to say. Sometimes you just never know what you're gonna get. These guys might be a little off. All right, question. if your husband was out buying you something nice and he stumbled into a Victoria's Secret, what size of bra would your husband buy you? What? Orly, what do you think? A 34B? B32. A B32, yes, you say. It's very close. It's, it was actually a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I will say that. You did get the cup right. That's right. He, he, he did say early, he's like, can I just say the cup? <laughs> Rita. <laughs> Rita, honestly, don't be embarrassed because we already know. <laughs> a 34D? 36D. A 36D. 36. No, that's also close as well. You, the guys are more worried just about the cup. They're like, yeah, it's a D. And Sylvia, what do you think? What I wear? Yeah, you can pretty much say anything, and it's not going to be right. 38 C. A 38 C? Actually, somewhat close. He he actually said a 28 C. Real close. Have a nice hand for the couple. Good stuff. 28 C. I'm trying to determine what that would look like. Alrighty, question number three now, the bonus question worth 10 points. Complete this sentence here, ladies, complete the sentence. When you wake up in the morning, you're likely to find your husband's what on your what? All right, your husband's what on your what? Um, my arm around, like, my chest, my or my... Oh, your, his what on your what? Yeah, oh, sorry. His arm around, like, my midsection. Oh, he's trying to do a little, little, little P-34s, all right. Uh, no, no, he actually said your, his leg on your leg. Like, and you just, that, that's how you sleep? That's good. Okay, I, I would hope it would be more comfortable laying down. All right. Rita, what do you think? His hand on your chest. <laughs> and the truth comes out. Uh, uh, no, he actually said his back against her front. His back against her front. He said like you spooned him. Okay, there's no need. Sylvia, his what on your what? He's not in bed, he's usually on the recline of sleep. <laughs> okay, so when you wake him up, what do you have to do to get him up? He keeps me up before me, but then I wake him up to put his eye drops in. You, you wake him up to put his eye drops in? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, got <laughs> is he Is he a tough, uh, is he a tough sleeper? Is he hard to wake up? No. <laughs> do you feel as though physical violence is necessary in the morning? No, he actually said... She kicks him out of the bed. You, you kind of like kick him out of the bed, you're like, you know... <laughs> do, do, you, do you sometimes do that? That's why he lands on the cat on the <laughs> Maybe that's why he's on the recliner, she said. <laughs> Not quite much, but that's all right. Have a nice hand for a while. All right, now it's time to have a little bit of fun with the ladies this time around. So gentlemen, please stand up, follow Claude into the soundproof booth, and we'll be right back to you in just a few moments. So I'm going to watch out. And three questions are going to be asked this time. The first two are worth 10 points, and the third question is the bonus question, worth 25 points. Right. Question number one. Let's pretend you are driving along in a car. Right. You're driving around in a car, and you're in a strange city, you've never been there before in your life, and you happen to get lost. I'm driving. I'm your husband. I'll pretend. All right. You're driving along, and you get lost. Would he, A, pull over and ask for directions, B, pull over and buy a map, Will you C, act like nothing is wrong and just continue driving? Or D, find a way to blame you? <laughs> D, you would find a way to blame you? 
Yeah, really? Oh, that's, that's too bad. <laughs> what do you think Ron would do? He'd pull over and ask for directions. He'd pull over and ask for directions. He would do that, huh? It, sorry? It took him 25 years before you do that, but he would do that. He would do that now. He would do that now. And Irving. He always blames me. He always blames you. He always blames you for that. No matter what it is, he just blames you. All right. All right. Let's see. How Number two. Let's say there is one article of clothing in your husband's wardrobe that he just will not get rid of. What one article of clothing is that? We all have something out there. It's an old pair of jeans, t-shirts. Right now the ladies are turning to their husbands and saying, yeah, you know that ripped jacket that you want to get rid of? That's what I would say. There's something out there. Does he own um, his blue sweatpants? His blue sweatpants. How old do you think these blue sweatpants are? Um, they're like six or seven years old. Wow, six or seven, it's like a piece of elastic with some cloth? Uh, they're not so bad, but he just will never give them up. <laughs> Alright, the blue sweatpants. Did he bring them on the ship? I think so. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Rita. He gets rid of everything. Um, I just said a fishing shirt. A fishing shirt, a fishing shirt. I was just saying fishing shirt. But he's not really one of those guys that, you know, hang on to whole. Mm -hmm. He just gets rid of them all. Alright, and Sylvia, what do you think? One article of clothing that... So your husband will not get rid of his old blue jacket. His old blue jacket. He just likes that blue jacket. Always, always, always on. Did he bring that on the ship? No. No, he didn't. He left that in the heart. I was gonna say if we saw an old blue jacket running around the ship, we take that thing. Off. All right. And uh, question number five points. This is also a complete the sentence. All right. Ladies, where's the strangest, wildest place that you and your husband have ever had the urge to get romantic? Now, I'm saying the urge, and that's, you don't necessarily have to have followed through with it, but any particular strange, wild place that you're like, oh, we shouldn't be here, we shouldn't be doing this, <laughs> but the urge, what do you think? A public pool. A public pool? Like a public swimming pool, like in the city? Yeah, okay. Uh, did you follow through? You did? A public swimming pool. No one was around? I would hope not. There Rita! Hey, nobody here knows me, right? <laughs> Anybody? Nope. Church. Church! Show just like a whole new spin. <laughs> Sylvia? Who could remember that far back? <laughs> the what? Sorry? Who could remember that? Oh, but that far back. Oh, I'm like. Wait, just, there could have been, you know, one romantic place, maybe a, a strange, interesting. No, I don't remember. Did you just want to say a long time ago? A very long time ago. A very long time ago. We'll just say that. The urge was a very long time ago. How about a nice hand for the ladies for sharing us their secrets? This party taking place upstairs in the spectrum on deck number eight. Uh, uh,